welcome. It is Wednesday, our third, I think it's the third, third Wednesday of the month. That means it's time for our weight management class. My name is Melissa. I'm HealthAware's registered dietitian and personal trainer, and I'm very happy to be here with you today. Thank you for watching, whether it's live right now at 11 a.m. or the recorded version later on. I'm happy you're here. If you have any questions or comments during class or the recorded version of class, please let me know. Type in that little chat box. I'm happy to answer any questions that I can. Um, love any feedback or any comments. So for today, our topic is goal setting for the new year. Um, it's a topic that we've discussed in the past, but I think it's a really important topic to talk about in December because I know a lot of people start thinking about different goals, um, especially in the health and weight management realm. Start setting some goals in December, of course, the New Year's resolutions. So that's kind of what we're talking about today. I've got my notes behind the camera. <laughs> okay, so how many times have you made a New Year's resolution? If you're like most people, you've probably made quite a few, but how many of those resolutions did you actually stick to? Unfortunately, the answer is often none or very few, which can cause feelings of discouragement and guilt, likely the complete opposite type of feelings you were hoping to achieve with your resolutions. So the way we set New Year's resolutions or any goal during the year can make a huge difference in the outcome. Having a goal to lose weight is great, but that idea alone isn't really setting you up for success. You need to be smart about it. Smart about your goals. So smart, S-M-A-R-T is an acronym that's used as a guide for goal setting. It can help you make clear and reachable goals rather than ones that are general and open-ended. And this is a topic that we've discussed before in our weight management class. But again, I find that it's easy to forget about this type of specific goal setting. And it's really important with New Year's resolutions since those tend to not follow these specific SMART uh, guidelines. So SMART, the S stands for specific, the M stands for measurable, A stands for achievable, R stands for relevant, and T stands for time bound. So we're going to talk through each of those letters and discuss a little bit more in detail what they mean and how they help you achieve your goals better. So S, specific. Your goal should be clear and easy to understand. That's it, okay? Clear and easy to understand, being very specific. So ask yourself, what do I want to accomplish? Why is the goal important? So telling yourself that you want to get healthy is not very specific. Um, the concept of getting healthy can mean all kinds of things depending on who you are. Within that realm of getting healthy, maybe your more specific goal is that you want to lose weight. Also think about why you want to accomplish your goal. So what is it within yourself that's motivating you? Having that inner motivation is really important to staying on track and actually helping you achieve this goal. Um, so being specific, and we'll talk even more now in this next section about measurable. This helps you be even more specific with your goal. So adding a number aspect to your goal helps you track progress and know when you've reached your goal. If there's no number, it's really hard to tell when you've actually achieved it. You don't want it to be an abstract idea out there. You need it to be very specific and measurable. So ask yourself, depending on what it is, how much or how many or how will I know when that goal is accomplished? You know you want to lose weight, perhaps, but that is way too open-ended just on its own to lose weight. So choose a specific number of pounds that you want to lose. If you don't even know how much weight would be appropriate for you to lose, contact me 
or Andrea at the healthware office or your physician to find out more information on what a uh, measurable specific amount of weight loss is appropriate for you. Uh, typically, if you are overweight, typically five to 10% of your current weight would be appropriate as a starting point. So uh, let's say that you are five foot five and you weigh 200 pounds. You would be considered overweight, possibly obese. I don't know the exact scale in my mind. So for that, if you weigh 200 pounds, five to 10% of that would be 10 to 20 pounds. And that would be um, within a specific time frame, which we will talk about in just another couple letters. So we've got specific and measurable, and now we're talking about achievable. When adding a number to the goal, you need to determine what would be realistic and attainable for you. It's good to be ambitious, but not extreme, right? So ask yourself, how realistic is the goal based on my specific limitations? Maybe you have injuries or a really busy work schedule or limited finances. Uh, ask yourself, does anyone else have power over the goal being achieved? You want to make sure that you are in total control of this goal being achieved. Um, it's not dictated by someone else's choices, decisions, scheduling, all of that. So men and women often lose weight at different rates and in different ways. I see that a lot with husbands and wives. <laughs> Just because your spouse lost a certain amount of weight, <laughs> someone liked that, that's funny. Just because your spouse lost a certain amount of weight last month, that doesn't necessarily mean you're going to lose the same this month, doing the same things even. It's even more true if you and your spouse have different injuries, daily schedules, etc. Because of everyone's individual circumstances, especially men versus women, an achievable, achievable goal for you might look completely different than it does for someone else. So we've got specific, measurable, and attainable. Oh, achievable, excuse me. Achievable is our A. And then R is now relevant. So make sure the goal really matters to you. It's much less motivating to set a goal that someone else is pressuring you to achieve. Ask yourself, is the goal worthwhile? Is it the right time for the goal? Sometimes life circumstances are stressful and they're not ideal for focusing on weight loss, specifically what we're talking about today. Don't make excuses for not trying to lose weight, but also, don't feel like you must start an intense weight loss program right now if you're going through an overly stressful time with work or more obligations schedule-wise than usual. Um, I wanna to touch again, make sure that you yourself are motivated, not someone else pressuring you. So if it's you know your mom or spouse or best friend that's pressuring you to lose weight or whatever goal you're trying to achieve in the new year, it's not going to happen <laughs> if it's not something that you feel is relevant to you. So if your friend is going on a keto diet and they say, oh, you must do this with me, let's do this together through the month, if it's not relevant for you, it's not gonna be something you're gonna achieve. Okay, then the last letter is time bound. So we had specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, <laughs> and now time bound. This is important. Every goal needs a deadline so that you feel motivated to start and stay focused. It's easy to let everyday tasks take priority over your long-term goals. However, make sure you're realistic with your time frame. So ask yourself, when do I want to have the goal completed? When is realistic to have the goal completed? As I, I guess I didn't mention this, but the recommended reasonable weight loss goal for weight loss progression is to lose one to two pounds per week until you reach your goal. So that 
is if you're working very, very hard, focused, meeting all of your small goals to achieve that larger goal of weight loss. One to two pounds per week does take effort, but that is the recommended amount of um, weight loss progress that is good for long-term maintenance. So if you're thinking about what your weight loss goal could be, should be, perhaps for the new year, try starting with that one to two pounds per week um, to get you to a time frame for the goal. As I had mentioned a little bit earlier, another recommended weight loss progression is to lose five to 10% of your current body weight within three to six months. With this method, as I said, a person who weighs 20 pounds, 20 pounds, 200 pounds should aim to lose 10 pounds within three months or 20 pounds within six months. Hopefully that all made sense. So let's talk now more about setting your SMART goal. With all of this information in mind that we just talked about, what would a SMART goal look like? So an example, a good example would be, I will lose 5% of my current body weight within three months, all right? That's very specific, it's time bound, it's a reasonable goal, okay? If you're setting a long-term goal like that one is, three months is a pretty long-term goal. Um, it's also helpful to set up a few action-oriented SMART goals so you have a plan on a daily or weekly basis on how you will achieve your overall goal. These action-oriented SMART goals are short-term, okay, and often restart, restart on a weekly or a daily basis. Um, so some examples of this would be, I will walk for 30 minutes on five days a week, or I will cook a plant-based dinner on three days per week. Um, another example is, I will drink at least 64 ounces of water every day this week. And then a final one would be, I will track my entire food and beverage intake on my fitness pal on five days this week. Those are all very short term. They restart every day or every week and they are part of your larger overall goal to lose that 5% of your current weight in three months. So I want you at home watching to try it out, either writing a long-term goal that you may have for the new year and if so, perhaps some small action-oriented types of goals. So I've been doing this actually for the last couple months. Every month I reset and write some goals that I want to achieve. I have a little spreadsheet. I can cross off the boxes if I've achieved that action-oriented goal or not. Um, so for example, some of mine would be, um, actually exercise is one of mine, so exercise, 150 to 300 minutes per week of the aerobic exercise. That would be one of my goals. Another one that doesn't relate to health at all, but I want to clean the kitchen one time each week. <laughs> Another one of mine would be to either call or socially distance see a friend once a week. So that one is health related for our mental health. So any of these goals that you set, you don't have to have them about weight loss specifically. I know that that is what this class is about, but you can use these SMART goals or the action-oriented SMART goals, the same parameters for any type of goal, whether it's health or just life related. Very, very easy to use this SMART template for your goals. Uh, within this weight loss or weight management class, topic, I also wanted to say that I am planning to do another weight loss challenge. Um, we did one in October and it was great. We had lots of involvement. Um, we had some people lose a decent amount of weight. Um, one of you is watching right now. <laughs> so I'm doing it again, probably going to start mid-January, so not the first of the year because I know we all still are kind of getting over the holidays at that point. So. 
more towards the middle of January. I'll be sending out more information on that through email as well as posting here to our social media channels. Um, I'm hoping to have even more resources for you than I did in October. Um, meal plan templates and exercise schedules, perhaps some more interaction exercise wise um, with me through these online type of options. So stay tuned for all of that. I really want to help any of you watching achieve your weight management goals because I know that is a really, really common topic for a lot of people especially now that we've gone through an entire year almost of quarantine. So weight loss or weight gain has been happening a little bit more in the last few months, perhaps the quarantine 19 as it's called. <laughs> anyway, so stay tuned for information on that. Um, I hope that any of you who want to lose weight in the new year will let me help you help you with these goals. I would love to do that. If you have any questions, any comments, feedback, please let me know in the chat section of this video. Thank you all for watching live or those that are watching the recorded version later on. I will be here tomorrow with our online strength training class, 9 a.m. I will see you for this class again in January, the third Wednesday of the month. <sighs> I think that's it. Until tomorrow, I will see all of you there, right? In my strength training class. Um, thank you for watching. Thanks, Molly. Thanks, Lori, for watching. I will see you next time.